If we danced and shared art and music, we'd be too busy enjoying. Perhaps one of the greatest ways to achieve global peace and harmony is cultural exchange. It opens up the vistas of human understanding and further expands our universal consciousness. The Association of Southeast Asian Nation comprise Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, Thailand, Cambodia, Lao PDR, Myanmar and Vietnam. To celebrate the 25th anniversary of the ASEAN-India relationship, MEA in collaboration with Seher came together to organize the first ever ASEAN-India Artists Camp. The camp comprises 20 artists from India and Southeast Asia. The Secretary of Ministry of External Affairs, Preeti Saran, inaugurated the camp and shared her vision for the future of ASEAN. We share uh, very strong historical and civilizational linkages uh, with the ASEAN member countries that go back a uh, millennium. It was the oceans that connected us very peacefully through trade, through religion, to philosophy, through greater people to people contact. And as the artists have their own, uh, own, their own way of recreating, these linkages and I thought um, uh, certainly look forward to seeing the what will be created out of this particular theme. After a formal introduction on the opening night, the team is moving to Udaipur. We will join them on their journey to rediscover connections through art in the beautiful city of Udaipur. With one goal, shared values, common destiny. We need to bring people to people contact, especially the intelligentsia and the intellectuals and the creative people. They need to come together and blur boundaries. And that was the idea of actually bringing 10 painters from one each of the ASEAN countries and 10 from India. So that they could actually have creative energy together, share their influences, their traditions, their cultural backgrounds together and come out with paintings which are free of any, uh, any kind of uh, differences. The camp is set amidst a lush green haven, the Ananta Resort, just a few miles from Udaipur. There are Aravali mountains which are surrounding this beautiful weather and all doors are open for artists, rooms are open, it's, you're in the middle of, you're in the lap of nature. The artists collect the required material from Team Seher to start their work. And with this, the stimulating art camp begins. We're trying to create, you know, uh, an experience in middle of nowhere for them. We get a list of things that they want to use to make the artworks. Yesterday we had too much white and today we had no white. It is a lot of madness, a lot of fun and it's like a big fat wedding. Painting will develop as I work, so it is in the process. Yeah. I'm going to live that process. So I really don't know what it's going to be, but I'm uh, not afraid to paint and I'm going to go beyond what I know and I'm going to take risk. Each one of these famous painters has his or her own unique style in their individual attitude towards art and life. My art is all about uh, my passion. I just love what uh, I'm doing and I just love what the things uh, I observe uh, surrounds me. My art is uh, about myself, 
and it represent my feeling my emotion my ex uh, expectation and my um, anything about myself you know I think um, my art style has much to do with my personality. Um, even in fact, um, the color as well. Um, I tend to um, uh, lean towards um, pastel and gray, gray palettes. And I think um, in in my own personality, I'm also um, quiet and also um, do not like to socialize much. Yeah, and I, I think a lot as well uh, of the process and ideas behind my work. And I think all this um, formal aspect of art making is, um, it is part to do with who, am I, who I am as a person. Yeah. Camps of such kind help these masters of art to draw inspiration from each other's ideas and styles. India is uh, the oldest culture in the world. And I think it's just a lot of, of symbolism in tradition so it's lif it, it's reflect me a lot i got an inspiration from from this trip and i got inspiration when i was travel my style is about a mythological backdrop and i try to portray some uh, symbolism and semiotic in my approach i think we share the same methodology because samindranath also worked with automatic uh, practice which is is keep doing painting with uh, chances, you know. They are keep changing, changing the colors and keep changing the shapes and keep doing that. And he loved doing that. And I think we share the same methodology, basically. But obviously, the practice is quite different. I believe that uh, the only thing that we can um, at least tangibly um, identify that um, connects uh, all of us is environment because uh, I'm here uh, he is in Malaysia um, but we are um, taking oxygen from the same environment so we're seeing the same Sun every day we're enjoying the same moon so that way we are actually um, Connected. Towards the end of the first millennium BC, Southeast Asia came under the influence of the Indian civilization when India, Sri Lanka, and mainland Southeast Asia began trading. Luxury goods were moved both east and west by sea, from the Eastern Roman Empire to the Han Dynasty in China. This trade encouraged cultural exchanges and imbibement. For example, traces of Indian scripts such as Ramayana and Mahabharat can be found across many Southeast Asian islands like Sumatra, Java, Bali, South Sulawesi and in many parts of the Philippines. Japanese culture is, uh, have a, uh, one philosophy like a, still now is like a Lingayoni. Uh, uh, I am think uh, this a uh, craze uh, traditional, uh, maybe like uh, the complete the custom, traditional custom. We call it keris. Uh, looks like knife, but it's more philosophy, not to killing something or not. Uh, Symbolize about the lingayoni. And this uh, we call konjo, uh, and then this apila. Uh, it is a uh, it is a symbol of but uh, yoni and this this uh, linga. Thai art was influence of Indian art, and and sometimes and and some some of art are uh, influence from China. When I was young, when I study about art in university, I study Indian art from work. Indian and Thai not different because in my country have too many Indian live and business and do business in my country. We have Indian street, Indian market. 
sometimes when when I have time, I went to just like a, bought the food, Indian food, and try to buy some some material to make my artwork. Yeah. The motivation of each artist in this camp is to spend time together and draw from the free-flowing creative synergy. It's a unique opportunity for me to you know, get to know uh, all these uh, artists from my uh, neighboring countries. We get more exposure of uh, American artists or Western uh, art world. But uh, just in, a, in a, our neighboring countries with who, whom we share a common uh, tradition, culture, philosophy, heritage, even religion. But we don't get to work as much as we get to work with a French or American or British artist. Mm. Uh, so and Ikro, yeah, he's a lovely chap and uh, we shared our work images, uh, uh, our um, personal life, about get got to know each other through our background life, personal life and also, he told a lot of art activities happening in Jog Jakarta, where he is from. This is an opportunity for the artists not only to, uh, to exchange their talent, exchange the culture, but they can exchange also the ideas. They understand each other. Culture, I think uh, the uh, product of culture, show the deep inner side of the people. Seher as an organization is dedicated to promoting the performing and the visual arts and it has always pushed such creative frontiers. Tonight the artists will get a rare experience of the elusive Satya dance from Assam. I see uh, a lot of symbol, uh, a lot of sign through the action, especially hand, hand action and your um, mimic, mimic, yes, uh, mimics, expression, expression in oh, very, very. Thank uh, you nice so much. Nice to see you, and uh, I think that I start my love <laughs> to <laughs> in Indian uh, dance. It was a beautiful journey for me because you get the energy of artistic minds on the stage itself and you get lost, you take the journey ahead. They have conceptualized this interdisciplinary nature in the artist camp where an artist, be it in the, in the field of dance or music, is getting to interact with the fine arts, the visual artists. Uh, so that's where again the learning process is getting uh, you know, transferred. I think it's not about uh, the narrative itself. It's about the choreography, it's about uh, expression of the movement, it's about the narrative of 500 years uh, work. It's, it's really amazing for me. And, and I was lucky to, to saw it tonight. And it was really stunning and amazing. Yeah. <laughs>